Okay, you have to imagine this situation. You're 10 minutes away from playing a show, and you reach in your pocket and realize you don't have any picks for some reason. It's happened to me before. Uh, sometimes you remember everything for the gig, your amp, your guitars, your stands, everything. And then you reach in your pocket and you forget your picks, and that's a scary thing. So if you're primarily a pick player, you want to make sure right off the bat that you keep an excess of picks with you at all times. So I put some in my wallet, my pocket, I have the little pocket in my jeans I like to keep a secret pick in. It's my pick pocket, I call it. Uh, sometimes I put them in my trunk, in my car, uh, the backs of my amps. So just in case I ever run into that situation again, I'll have backup. But there still might be a time when you're at a show and you find yourself without a guitar pick. So this video is for that situation. And I have four alternatives, but make sure, like I said, just to keep a bunch of picks around and or have someone else in, in your band that plays guitar and uh, that can take care of a lot of problems right there. With my standard pick now, I use these purple Dunlop picks for now. These are the most comfortable for me. Uh, we have this. <laughs> feels really solid that's why I like thicker picks because uh, there's no give to it so when you go for a note you know it's gonna be there okay so that's my go-to of course on, on a perfect situation that's what I'd be using is so let's go for the first most obvious alternative that is most readily available that would be if somebody had some pocket change and as you know guys like Brian May and Billy Gibbons have used currency before to play and it's kind of funny, I call this a emergency backup situation, but you might actually prefer the feel of using coins to play with and just go with that. So let's go with, uh, let's go with a penny first. Okay, so with a penny. The metal on metal aspect of it's a little bit cringy to me just because I don't like chalkboard sounds, scratchy kind of thing. So it's sort of giving me the chills when I'm doing this. So I would say, yeah, this would be my first go-to backup, but uh, it's not a perfect situation, but either is not having a pick. Okay, let's try a dime. Okay, I'm afraid this is gonna be even harder because it's smaller. And there's the ridges on the edge, so I feel like the scraping's gonna be bad too. Maybe good for pick scrapes. <laughs> ah, okay. Not as good as a penny, it's not bad, I like the thinness of it, but uh, when I went to do the strums, I felt like my fingers were still hitting the strings, like scraping across because I had to choke up so much because it's such a small little uh, coin. So I would say this would be uh, second to the penny. With a nickel, we have a smooth edge again, but it's kind of a heavier, thicker feel. To tell you the truth, that's not bad. I like the bigger size, so I'd probably have to think long and hard about, well, I wouldn't have time to, but if I was going to use a penny or a nickel. A nickel just has a little bit extra size, obviously. So when I play, you still get that round edge and you get a little bit more uh, ability to dig into the string. The only problem is it's a little bit heavier, so you, it might just kind of throw off your timing a little bit because you're not used to you know, having to hold something that's this weight. But uh, I think at this point, I'd probably go with a nickel, surprisingly. Okay, let's try a quarter. Not too bad for sweeping, surprisingly. But yeah, the quarter just feels really strange. You know, it's got the heaviness of a nickel close to that, and it's just sort of bigger and more awkward. So I think out of all the coins, I would have to go with the nickel at this point. Okay, enough of the coins. Let's say you don't have any change for some reason. Uh, nobody's in the audience that it's willing to give you any money. So the next thing I think I would reach for would be a pair of scissors and some sort of plastic gift card or maybe an expired credit card or something. And I guess what you're willing to cut up depends on how desperate your situation is. But let's just cut the corner off of this card for right now. Okay, so I cut the edge off of it, but it's a little too triangular. So I'm going to cut the tips off the parts of the triangle. Okay, so we have something that looks like this. It's not perfect, but it's a piece of plastic, and it's got a nose to it. Feels pretty good, actually. Obviously not perfect. There's some jagged edges that you can maybe cut yourself with. I'm not sure if you can. but um, And it doesn't feel perfect. You know, it's a little bit awkward, but it would definitely get you through a gigging situation. Now, I think I would put this above the coins 
just because of the lack of the metal on metal factor that kind of bothered me about the coins. But uh, this doesn't feel bad, actually. I can see why that pick puncher product is so successful because uh, it does feel close to a pick. And uh, especially with the pick puncher, you get the shape of it. But with this one in a desperate situation, I think that would be my go-to. Hopefully I would have a card that I could cut up. wouldn't have to cut up my license or something like that. Let's try the third alternative. So this one I can imagine working in most bars because you could just run to the kitchen and ask for one of these things. But I actually went and bought a bag of buns today just to get this little clip, this bread clip. And when I was a kid, we used to go to uh, Cub Foods, the uh, local grocery store. We'd grab a bunch of these because we were young. We couldn't drive to the music store and get picks. But these would suffice pretty well. Now these new ones look kind of weird. There's a lot of weird edges to them. So you might have to go crazy with the scissors again and just cut off the little sharp no, no, uh, nodules, whatever they would be called. So now I have this bread clip or whatever they're called and uh, let's try it. <laughs> Surprisingly, it's working really well. The surprising part comes, see this hole in the middle? It's actually kind of a cool place to grip the pick. It likes to stay in your finger because there's a little bit of a hole there. So I'm sure there's picks out there with holes in them, but if not, product idea for you. So surprisingly, my third option has shot up to number one as far as my first alternative to using a regular pick. So my first option, I guess, would be the bread clip. So surprising. Then it would be the corner of a credit card or a gift card or whatever. And then we're looking at the coins. It would be the nickel, the penny, the quarter, then the dime. The dime's just a little too small to uh, outdo the quarter. And then your last option, thankfully you'll always have this if you need it, are just, just using your fingers and your fingernails, okay? Sometimes when you drop a pick on stage, it bounces into the other dimension, like we all know as guitar players. Or you drop your pick in the hole of your acoustic guitar, which happens as well all the time and you're left with your fingers. Well, I highly recommend learning how to play with your fingers anyway, but when it comes to playing solos like the one that I'm doing today as the example solo for the Queen song, it's kind of hard to play that kind of stuff with just your fingers. Maybe not for Mark Knopfler if you play this, but for someone like me who uses a pick a lot and only uses his fingers for like Travis picking and finger picking, uh, it'd be pretty difficult to pull off a solo like that with just my fingers, but I'm gonna try it. pulling out all my country know-how. You know, I do a lot of this stuff when it comes to country where you're plucking and picking at the same time, but that felt really difficult for me. So if I was forced to use my fingers for an entire show, I mean, I can, I'm already feeling it. I'm sure I would have blisters, it'd be a bloody mess, I'm sure, by the end of the show, but uh, it, it's definitely an alternative that you can do. So hopefully that gives you guys some options just in case the worst possible scenario happens and you find yourself without your usual picks, okay? But like I said, keep a bunch around and that should never happen. All right, guys, hopefully that was uh, informative. I'll catch you soon. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.